Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to do, I guess, a, another blade talk. I guess it's not really a review uh, and it's not a box opening because I've already had this blade for quite a while before I even decided to start this. But as the title suggests, it is a Kiku Matsuda, specifically the mini backup. So this is roughly 3.7 inches long, the blade, and the overall length of this is 7.87 inches, and it's about half a pound. Uh, thickness, it's almost a quarter inch thick. Not sure if you guys can see. It is pretty heavy compared to other knives that I own, but as soon as I saw one of Kiku Matsuda's blades, I knew that I had to have them. So if you don't know who Kiku Matsuda is, he is a Japanese master bladesmith. And that guy really is an artist with his, with his work. Uh, he hand grinds all of his blades. And this specific one, this style is a Hamaguru Bai or something like that. Never claimed to know Japanese. So uh, basically it is a convex grind up here and then your traditional type of grind that we know here in the US. So this grind, the convex grind, is what sword makers use and have used for I guess hundreds of years to make uh, samurai swords. So that is pretty cool. Uh, the steel, don't know really too much except that like I said it's OU31 Japanese steel. Um, it's held up pretty well. I remember the first time about 11 years ago when I first found out about Kiku Matsuda and I was able to hold one of his blades, I'll usually run my finger uh, along the edge to see how sharp they are. And usually I can make it through the whole entire blade and then I'll just see how deep it's cut. And I remember the very first time that I held one, I, I started doing it and I just did that and I was like, oh yeah, that, that is super, super sharp. Kiku Matsuda knives are... I read in an article considered to be amongst the sharpest in the world and they definitely are the sharpest that I have ever handled. I've never tried you know the the cutting test with a uh, medical scalpel so I can't really compare it to that but maybe I should and uh, yeah anyway so I've, I've been wanting this knife or this blade for almost 11 years now and I guess it's because of COVID and him not being able to travel to different blade shows that he decided to start selling stuff online because before COVID, I would check his site maybe once a month and he never sold anything online. And now he's starting to sell everything that he makes. Even the, the short swords that he makes, he's starting to sell them online and he does international shipping. So I got this from him. I went to town with it used it for a whole bunch of different things. I have dulled the front part, and the one thing that I would say that kind of sucks about these, and that I did kind of think about before I purchased it, is sharpening, and how do you sharpen this, right? Because it's more of a convex blade on the front, and I don't know about you guys, but I am not very patient when it comes to, sh to sharpening. I have tried Lansky, I've tried Wicked Edge, um, and a couple others. I've tried Japanese whetstones, and I seem to mess up every single blade that I've tried sharpening, except for my kitchen knives which are behind the camera. Those with the Wicked Edge, I've been able to, to sharpen pretty good, but any of my tactical knives, yeah, it has not worked. Um, I'm the type of guy that when I cook, if it says cook on, you know, uh, 200 degrees for 10 minutes, I'm gonna do 400 degrees for five minutes. That, that's me. And before I bought this, I, I did think, you know, how am I going to sharpen this? I have no idea. I had reached out to Kiku. I had sent him emails and I had never re gotten a response back. So I don't know what's changed. I don't know if it's because of COVID and him not being able to go to blade shows and sell all of his blades. But uh, yeah, he started selling them. About three months ago, I sent them an email. Hey, is it possible for me to send this back to Japan, back to you to have sharpened? Because I want you to sharpen it. And the response that I got was, no, we don't do sharpening for customers. And they sent me a video. And the video was Kiku Matsuda sharpening something with, sharpening a blade with, uh, uh, what do I want to, 
what is it called? It's uh, sandpaper. You're sharpening stuff with sandpaper. But the voice, or whoever was talking, was talking in Japanese. And the translation, there was closed caption translations. I'm pretty sure that it was in Chinese. So it really did me no good. And for whatever reason, I decided to email him back about two weeks ago, as of the date of this recording. And I asked him again, hey, is it possible to send this off to you guys and have it sharpened? And to my surprise, they actually responded with, yes, you can. Um, I guess you have to, in order to send this back to Japan, you have to say that it is a fishing knife. I don't know exactly why that's the case, but I'm going to follow the instructions. I guess it's going to cost about $30. I think the $30 is for them to ship it back to me and the actual sharpening is free. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, this is the mini backup. They are now making, or he is now making a micro. And I really do want to get my hands on that. Now, as you can see, this, this is pretty good size for EDC, in my opinion. Uh, if I can get this to zoom in, there we go. It's a pretty good size. I like it. My hands are size medium if you use the pig tactical gloves so it's not that big but here you go let's see if that gives you a little bit more of a reference all right so i guess it would be cool to have both this mini backup and the micro so that either my future wife carries a micro and i carry this one and it's a kind of a his or hers or if she doesn't want to carry it i can hold on to the micro until my child whether it's a boy or a girl uh, gets old enough to be able to start carrying a knife and then it can become, you know, father, son or father, daughter type of, of knife. And then hopefully when I pass, I can pass this on to them. And Kiku Matsuda blades are blades that I really do think that you can pass on and can even become uh, heirlooms. Now, I don't know if that's because I'm associating these with Japanese swords samurai swords and how there's some that you can get that are three or four hundred years old. Uh, I certainly would like this to be passed down to my future generations and also for that reason I do want to get a bigger knife. So I'm probably going to own, now that he started selling them online, I'm probably going to own another two to three Kiku Matsudas and when I get them I will make another video. Now. The sheath, the sheath is, well, it's a really shitty sheath. For as amazing as his blades are, the sheath sucks. These two screws, they don't tighten the, uh, the, the lockup. So it's just, it's just a sheath. You can't tighten it. You can't loosen it up. The retention is there. There's nothing that you can do about it. So I am going to hopefully take this to Andy at Half Face Blades because I live in San Diego and see if he can make me one of his nice custom uh, suede lined sheaths. But uh, the ergonomics, the contours on this, it seems like he made it for my hand, whether it's forward grip or it's reverse grip, it feels absolutely perfect in the hand. It doesn't matter if the handle is wet, bloody, sweaty, it's not going anywhere. I absolutely love this. I just wish that um, I knew how to sharpen them myself and I didn't have to send them to Japan. The guy is about 80 years old, I think. Or he might be 70 years old. Yeah, no, I think he's 70 years old. And who knows when he's going to retire from blade making. I'm sure that whenever he does either retire or pass, that these blades are going to go through the roof. And for that reason, I also want to get one of the short swords. The swords are about, uh, about $2,000. And they are maybe 13 inches long for the actual blade. And then you've got the handle, which I believe is like a 5 or a 6 inch handle. So... Pretty cool stuff. If you guys don't know of Kiku Matsuda, highly recommend you checking him out. I don't know of many places that you can order them online legitimately. Right? I kind of worry that they're knockoffs. If I can get this to focus for you guys. The only place that I know that actually does sell these 
and is legitimate is Rifle Gear. It's a gun store in Santa Ana, Orange County, Costa Mesa area, which isn't too far away from me. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful, super, super sharp. Definitely be careful when you get this new from him. All right, guys, so that is it for the Blade Talk on the Kiku Matsuda Mini Backup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I do have a couple others. I may very well do a Blade review on this tour, which you'll be surprised as to what I have to say about that. Anyway, thanks again. Take care.